we're sure you have questions. I come here today standing with my client, Mr. Keys, because this is a disgrace that Morehouse has allowed this to happen to not only my client, but other clients in similar situations. My client, he is planning on filing a suit against Morehouse College. We also plan to pursue um, criminal as well as civil charges against DeMarcus Cruz. The things that we want from Morehouse College is we want change. Of course, we are going to look at talking with uh, Morehouse College about settlements, but we want change because this has happened too many times to my client as well as other students. Some of the claims that we are bringing against Morehouse College is violation of Title IX, negligent hiring and retention of Mr. Cruz, we also are looking at criminal charges against the, Mr. Cruz. We're looking at simple assault, we're looking at battery, we're looking at stalking, ter terroristic threats and acts, and again, the violation of Title IX. I would like to share with you all my client is very courageous in sharing what has happened to him at this institution where he went for higher learning and education. He did not come from Chicago, Illinois to be assaulted he did not come to Chicago, from Chicago, Illinois to Atlanta to be stalked, to be harassed, or to be assaulted at the hands of a school official in whom he should have had trust in. and not reach out to our client because I'm sure they've heard that he has retained counsel. My client has also expressed his desire for going to school at another institution. That's something that we have to look at as well. We've also posted a GoFundMe account for my client as he has to deal with this situation of leaving this institution as well as the legal side of what's going to take place. Are there any questions or comments? Well, Mr. Keith, we could ask you about uh, the response you've gotten since you came forward last week on, on social media. Um, it's been a lot of support. Um, a 
lot of support from my Morehouse brothers, brothers and sisters, along with Clark brothers and sisters. Um, it's something that I didn't know that a lot of people experience, especially a lot of men experience. So um, a lot of people have told me like I've inspired them. Um, they call me things such as like hero and they've also told me their stories and um, told me how I was able to help them um, come out about their stories. And are you hearing from other students who have similar complaints against the same administrator or against other administrators? Or what are you, what are you hearing now? Yes, um, I'm hearing complaints that they had complaints um, from both DeMarcus Cruz and other administrators. And now Morehouse is now saying that this particular administrator has been suspended. Yes. And they are investigating. Correct. It, is that enough for you? I mean, what, is, what else can they do? That is not enough for my client and the other students. They deserve better from an institution that has known of Mr. Cruz's actions and others' actions. So they deserve better than this. What we want more, we want them to change the administration, change the programs. We need them to do some internal investigations and change how things are handled as it pertains to student safety and student issues. I was curious, like, what prompted you to post those messages on Twitter? What was the turning point? Um, I woke up. Well, I woke up one morning and I, I just started crying. And my mom and my dad were in the garage, and I started walking outside in the rain. And I sent my mom a message saying that I didn't want to be here anymore, meaning in this world. And um, so I said that I was walking in the rain. I was crying. My mom called me back, and they just had a long talk with me, and they just told me everything was going to work out in my favor. And um, they told me to, to do what I feel like I need to do. station I just I just recorded the video and that was just that and from what I see on the dates of the title IX complaint that was January of 2018 correct and what's happened since what hasn't happened um I did speak with the title IX director the day after and um, we also had another meeting after that but after that there was nothing else said to me it was just it was just all sweat under the rug what do you make of the fact that, that after you posted this on social media, then you got a reaction? Is, is that how it does? That is exactly how it worked. Um, I started to get an email from administration, um, HR, and yeah, so that's when I really started to get a reaction from the school after I posted the video. Yes. And I think your attorney has, I'm sorry, one more question. Your attorney has summarized what you'd like to see. What is your concern for other students going forward, whether you're a part of Morehouse or not? Um, I w what I want to say is, is, is it's not just DeMarcus Cruz. And um, I would like parents to just be aware of the um, people in, in these institutions who are doing things like this. And um, my concerns are just like Title, with Morehouse specifically, just Title IX not doing their job and administration not being there for the students, instead being there for the administration. So that, those are my concerns with Morehouse, but it's happening at all universities, all historically black colleges. And, and just to follow up, I'm sorry, is that the, the ultimate good or goal that you hope comes from this, or what? How would the you ultimate go? goal is for people to tell their stories, and for the people who are in charge of these students, who are supposed to make sure the students safe, who tell the parents that when they leave, they'll make sure they have our backs. I want them to do their job. And if it's whatever the system they're using now isn't working, I want them to change that system and make something that's gonna work for the students and not for the administration. Exactly. Morehouse at this time is choosing image over students and that is not acceptable. Have you filed a police complaint or are you planning to? Um we have we plan to file a police complaint. Have you been in touch with anyone from Prince County DA's office or the police or any law enforcement agencies yet? Not yet. You use the word assault. Um, the university uses the word misconduct. Can you explain, you know, maybe for people, how, what are some of the things that you went through that takes it to the level of assault? We believe in assault. We believe there was rape misconduct. So we would agree that there was rape misconduct and that there was assault. Um, an assault on our, on our client. So that is an assault. You cannot just touch someone that you feel like it's okay to do. And so yes, there was both reckless conduct and an assault on our client. 
and also there was a question that was posed earlier um, regarding Morehouse. What has been done? As far as we know of, nothing has been done. Uh, Morehouse has not reached out to attorney Simmons. Morehouse has not reached out to Bob's and and so So until we get from them, nothing has been done. Okay, hey, for Michael, I was curious, like, uh, did anyone from Morehouse ever give you a protocol about what you were supposed to do, like, as far as filing a top nine complaint? Or um, no, I reported it to my resident director and he reported it to me.
that has contacted me. In the last I've had um, three families contact me in the last 48 hours regarding this matter. And again, the idea of a lawsuit is it's still an idea that has not been filed yet, correct? No, a lawsuit has not been filed. Again, I have just been retained in the last 48 hours, so there is no lawsuit that has been filed.